Hey everyone, this is the Clumsy Simmer and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. Today we are in Oasis Springs and we are building a base game only starter home. The finished product ended up being about, it was a little bit over 18k. Um, I wanted it to be as affordable as possible for your starter sim, but I also wanted it to look nice too, so overall I think I achieved that. Um, I, I'm i really not very confident when it comes to Mediterranean style houses yet, so I'm trying to build them and give myself as much practice as possible. I think this turned out pretty good actually for me not being very good at Mediterranean style houses, especially for starter homes, and starter homes are kind of difficult anyways because you have a set amount of simoleons and those simoleons you know they they go down relatively quickly um, once you start building I actually was able to get a pool in this starter home um, so there's a pool it's one bedroom one bathroom and then obviously there is a living room and a kitchen as well um, and then a dining table in the same room as the kitchen um, I made some good use of the platforms in this house. I mean, I wouldn't say good use, just use of the platforms. Um, I ended up raising the kitchen up so I could have that step out in the back so it's not just leading straight out to the pool. I thought it looked nicer and it was a little bit more realistic if we had that, you know, step down. And um, so I'm just placing down the pool now and I'm getting the landscaping about where I want it. Um, I don't really do a bunch of fiddling around with this uh, build. I, it actually is a pretty short video. It's only about seven and a half minutes, including the screenshot. So it really didn't take me very long to build this house, surprisingly. It usually takes me longer. Um, yeah, those bushes, the trick, you know, getting them to not clip on the inside, it can be kind of a pain sometimes and then having to for I'm using debug landscaping by the way so all of this landscaping is free and with the use of the debug landscaping they want to do you know the bug that it used to do where it would like lift with the foundation the debug for the most part still does that I think there's some that don't do it but for the most part it, it they do it um, but it's nothing that little bit of, you know, messing around can't fix. Um, I am plopping down some of these purple flowers. I thought, you know, with the lighting in Oasis Springs, these purple flowers are like super pretty. I love the vibrancy of them. And paired with the yellow flowers, I just thought it looked really well together. So we are in the inside now and I'm just getting the floor plan together. I didn't have too hard of a time doing this floor plan. I usually have a little bit of a harder time, but this one came together really easy. The kitchen and the dining room is very small and then the bathroom is right there off of the kitchen, which wasn't my favorite thing to do. I wouldn't have chosen to do that, but that's just how the floor plan, you know, laid out. And um, getting the bedroom together, I ended up splurging a little bit on the bed so that I could get more of a Mediterranean style look for the bed. Uh, the other bed that's cheaper than that is much more of a more modern look. And the only brown swatch on that other bed was like literally just brown. And I wanted some more color so the this bed I ended up choosing had red and I thought it looked great. Um, now we are just finishing up the living room or we're starting the living room. And I ended up putting down a TV, just one of the small ones, just something for your Sims to have entertainment with. Uh, we got a bookcase in there and then I just needed something for that wall. So I put one of those little coat rack things um, back on the outside doing the patio. We could only afford two chairs out there, so that's what we got. And um, now we're just, you know, finishing up the decorations on the inside. I ended up putting a fish bowl down. I don't do that very often, but I didn't like the light that was there, so I swapped it out for that fish bowl. And now we are outside again, just working on the 
to rain paint. I ended up just putting grass down and then in this little area, I wanted to put some sort of pavement to uh, so your sim would be able to walk out to those little planter boxes. I thought the touch of terrain paint looked nice. And um, I end up putting that grass underneath the landscaping in the front as well. I thought it added like an extra something. It, it was better than just having green luscious bushes on top of dirt. I didn't think that made any sense. So I just put down some uh, grass and then I like to outline it with the dying grass terrain paint, I guess is what you'd call it. So that it doesn't look like it's just grass and then dirt. So it's kind of like grass and then dying grass and then dirt. So we are actually nearing these screenshots now. I just wanted to take a moment and, you know, thank you guys for giving me a chance, watching my videos, even though I just started. This is only my third video that I've done. If you have enjoyed my videos, please like, please subscribe, share as well if you'd like. Um, it really would help me out a lot. With that being said, we are nearing the screenshot, so I will leave you guys to enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye! A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine